on this video i want to talk to you guys about two particular stories there is the bishop zondo suing his sister this is his young sister this is a blood sister not uh, you know sister in the lord <laughs> The man is suing his own sister because the sister called him a wizard. The second part is going to be a story to show that ministers hate having bad information about them out there. I mentioned this slightly. I just never mentioned his name. His name is Prophet Samuel. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where he's from. That's going to be a second part of the clip. Uh, he's been a minister who's been doing a lot of videos on everybody that's leaving TB Joshua's ministry. As a matter of fact, when I constructed that video, that uh, the series of videos that I did, I, I got a lot of information from him. What is good, guys? It's Ricky here. Thank you very much for checking out this video. This is the Rick Reality Show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. If it's the first time on this channel, do be sure to check out the other videos. Don't worry about the heavy shadows. <laughs> it's at night. And trying to control all these lights will be just a bit too much. Today, I want to post two particular clips on this video. One, I want to introduce you to a prophet. One particular prophet who I I slighted to him when I did the TV Joshua series. That there were these channels that were dedicated to kind of like defending uh, the ministry of TV Joshua. Attacking anyone who leaves that ministry. Right now that particular minister. Following a warning note that had earlier been issued for an immediate closure of this church. The members of this revival church were taken on a words with the presence of the DO for Mefu and Afamba Emmanuel Mariel during their midday service. It was just interesting for me to see that he got a couple of strikes about two weeks ago and then now his church is being raided uh, for investigations his church was uh, they say that he's, he's functioning without the, the proper right just after getting strikes from John Chi a few weeks later he gets it's, it's fascinating to me that's all I'm saying but I do know that there's a lot of ministers a lot of pastors once you oppose what they say or what they do they will send you copyright strikes as a way to kind of control bad information going out there uh, Uber Angel does this a lot there is very little bad information about Uber Angel unless you talk about him without including his clips the publication of an article by Cameroon Tribune during a perquisition carried out recently at the Mercy of God Ministry of Mkwaban in Yaoundé, the Dio Emmanuel Maria Jigdent asked for the evacuation of members of the church who were mostly married women. Following a warning note that had earlier been issued for an immediate closure of this church, the members of this revival church were taken on a words with the presence of the DO for Mefu and Afamba Emmanuel Mariel during their midday service. Accused of many crimes, mainly the fraudulent authorization of the church to operate, the DO together with his search team ordered the Christians to leave the church premises. Given that the deal Emmanuel Mariel Jigdent had earlier on authorized a nod who gapped the subdivisional officer from Kol Afamba to monitor the activity, popularly known by his faithfuls as Prophet Samuel Ekidi Kenechukwu with a Nigerian heritage, after two hours of the unfruitful search, the deal and his team decided to embark on a question and answer session with some of his church members and nearby residents. Some faithfuls claimed the said prophet was dead with no exact date and site of his death stated, while others claimed he had gone up to the mountain to fast and pray. Uh, unfortunately, he did a lot of videos on John Chi, and John Chi was not very friendly about the videos that he was doing, and so he might have been banned because I remember he got a few copyright strikes two weeks ago, and right now he's just been uh, summoned, and his church was under investigation and suspension because of practicing without the right rules. Bishop Zondo is supposedly. Yeah. wanting to sue his sister for 500,000 500 bands papa. for his sister of course his sister used them very very serious words 
<laughs> she called him a wizard. That's that mean. That's what the article says. She called him a, a satanic worshipper or something like the devil worshipper and whatnot. She used very, very, very heavy words to describe what. Now this is his own sister. This is not someone down the road. This is not a Ricky. You know, you know I'm not. I'm not using those terms. But this is not a Ricky that's saying this. This is his own sister. All I want you guys to remember about this entire thing is this. These guys do not want bad information out there about them. It's It has nothing to do with whether you wronged, you, you said something about... No. They will sue you at every turn they get because they are foul. They are wrong. Doctrinally, positionally, his wife left. His wife left. We did an entire video on that. There was an article that said that his wife was no longer at church. People were saying Mamruti was not being seen in the church services because of all these things that were going on. Now for him to be going to an extent where he's suing his own sister, it not only does it dismiss that, it actually shows that maybe there's something to it. <laughs> You're making us pay more attention. And so, remember guys, I said I was going to do a couple of reaction videos to some testimonies of people who have left that ministry. I will definitely... You see now, with this case, uh, now you're actually making me want to do those videos even in a rush. So it's Ricky. I will definitely be doing those reaction videos on those testimonies that are coming out. That's what we talk about on this channel. So it's Ricky. This is a reality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. Do be sure to check out the other videos that we have on this channel. Do check out the video that is pinned in the comment section. That will be another video that is posted on today's episode. And I will see you on a later on. Hmm. I'm glad I sorted this issue of this microphone. I don't know what took me so long to find it. I shovel things down. You know, like shovel things down. So it takes me forever to find them. So I found the audio now. I can shoot the video no matter where I am. Even if I'm outside, you will still be able to hear me. It's Ricky. I gotta go and I will see you later. Salute, 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 salute. I will be doing those reaction videos to those testimonies. There are many. <laughs> we'll definitely bring them out. It's Ricky. I'll see you later. Salute.